Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix your input latency in Valorant. Now, once again, if you're facing input lag and delay in Valorant, this video is for you guys. So make sure to watch it till the end. Leave your specs down in the comments below. And as all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is the Valorant compatibility settings. And for that, you have to look up for Valorant on your PC and then click on open file location. Then once you're here, you have to do the same thing until you are in the file location of Valorant, go back to the Riot Games folder, then open up Valorant, go over to live, and then you have to find Valorant.exe. You have to right click on that, go over to properties, then compatibility, and over here, you have to make sure that you disable the full screen optimizations. Right after that, you have to click on change high DPI scaling. And over here, you have to click on override high dpi scaling behavior and set this thing to application once it is done simply click on apply now once again you have to go into shooter game then over here you have to go to binaries win64 and you will find valorant win64 shipping.exe you have to do the same thing right click on it go over to properties go to compatibility click on disable full screen optimization change high dpi behavior and then over here select application and also tick mark on this thing apply and okay Step number two is deanimating your windows. It is really, really simple and efficient. By default, windows have a ton of animations and disabling them will get you better performance. Simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Click on adjust for best performance. Select show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. Both of them will help you to fix your input latency and reduce your animations. Right after that, simply click on apply. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. There are multiple payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step is device manager and for that you have to search for device manager on your PC. Once it opens up, you have to look up for your system devices, find composite bus enumerator. You have to disable this thing by right clicking and disable the device. Find high precision event timer, disable that as well. I have only these two on my PC, but if you find numeric data processor and SM bus controller, you have to disable both of them as well. Once it is done, you have to open up your network adopters and then look up for your ethernet controller. This may be your Wi-Fi card or your ethernet card. Right click on that, go over to properties, then go to power management and make sure that the first option is disabled. Once it is done, simply click on OK. Next step is local group policy editor and this will help you guys a ton. This is only available for Windows Pro users. So if you have a Windows Pro, you can use it. Simply search for local group policy editor. Once it opens up, you have to expand this window a little bit. Then you have to go to administrative templates. Then over here, go to Windows Components and in here, you'll find App Privacy. In here, you have to find Let Windows Apps Run in the Background. Just over here, you have to double click on that. Over here, you have to set this thing to Enabled and default for all applications, simply click on Force Deny. This will help you to stop your apps running in the background and will help you to reduce your input latency and will also boost your FPS. Simply click on Apply and then you can close your local group policy editor. Next step is fixing your network issues using no ping. It is a VPN that helps you to tunnel your internet connection straight from your PC to the game server without any hindrance. You can download this from the link in the description below. No ping is super convenient to use. You can search for any game that you want. It has a ton of games to choose from. I'll search for Valorant right over here. Then click on select the server. Now you can pick the nearest server to you. Now for me, it will be Mumbai. So I will choose Mumbai 01 and that will also show you the ping that you can get. Now, once again, I will click on optimize this game and it will start 
connecting to the nearest region to me. The best part about Noping is the settings gear over here which offers you turbo games that helps you to boost your keyboard response. It will help you to register your keys much faster than normal and right after that you have the boost FPS option. If you click on that, it gives you a ton of options to disable unwanted services running in the background that will help you to get better FPS and reduce your input latency by a ton. Over here, I recommend you guys to enable game priority, windows services, windows registry, windows super fetch, windows update, windows processor, windows game bar, energy, services and performance count. Once it is done, it will help you to reduce your input latency by a ton and don't worry, this will also fix your internet problems. Once again, go check out Noping from the link in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and this is super beneficial. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC and I highly recommend you guys not to skip this one. Simply look up for a local disk C, click on create and name it Valorant just so you can remember it from and I highly recommend you guys to do this because if you want to restore your settings back, you can always do that without any data loss. Now next step is the Valorant input latency fix pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can also join my Discord server for downloading the same. The first thing over here is the batch files and registry files. Over here, you will find clean temporary files batch file. This will help you to clean your temporary files on your PC. You can right click and run this thing as an administrator. Once it is done, you have to also run these two registry files, disabling background applications. If you do not have Windows Pro and if, if you miss this step, for local group policy editor or if that is not available on your PC, you can do this by clicking on this disable background app registry and then there is disable unnecessary services registry also. This will also help you to remove unnecessary services running in the background. Last thing over here is the Valorant input delay fix batch file and this contain a ton of command prompt commands that will help you to fix many problems on your PC. You can simply right click and run this thing as an administrator and this will automatically execute all of these commands which are really beneficial in improving your system's performance. Next folder is the mouse latency registries in which you'll find your pointer precision disabling. This will help you to scale your mouse with the movement of your hand. Now, once again, pointer precision is the extra drag that adds to your mouse whenever you move the touchpad. So I do not recommend you guys to do this if you have a touchpad on your laptop, but if you use a physical mouse, disable the pointer precision globally. Now, once again, if you have to enable that, you can look up for mouse settings on your PC, then click on additional mouse settings over here, go to pointer options and then click on enhance pointer precision and that will enable the option for you guys. Next is the fix mouse delay and this will help you to scale your mouse by adding new registry to your mouse and this will also help you to fasten up your mouse response time. Next one is the keyboard latency fix in which I have left a lot of keyboard buffer which will help you to fix your keyboard input latency. I have also left a default keyboard buffer if you want to reset it back but to pick any one of this you have to leave your keyboard specification down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from among the first four and you have to run the same for your keyboard to get better performance in the game. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash hit subscribe button. Also, we have channel membership rolling on the channel. So if you guys want to support the channel, you can always get the membership. It is always appreciated. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.